Oh. Mm. Morning. Mm. I said good morning. You can't just lie there with your eyes closed, pretending you didn't hear anything. Oh, come on, at least give me a kiss back for my efforts. Mm. <laughs> That's more like it. Wasn't too hard now, was it? <laughs> When's your roommate coming back today? No idea at all? Then I should hurry and get out of bed. I don't want to cause a fuss early in the morning. I know you said Kakomi isn't chatty and she's not likely to gossip, but it still feels weird since I'm a boy in an all-girl dormitory. I'm gonna get up now, okay? Huh? What's up? Why are you clinging to my sleeve like that? <laughs> you're awfully cute when you're grumbling with your eyes screwed shut. Tell me, what exactly do you want? You're barely making any sense to me. And if you want me to do something, you'll need to be clearer. Oh? You want me under the sheets? As your footstool? <laughs> That's an awfully specific request. I don't know if Kakomi will get suspicious, though. I mean, I'm not exactly a very big guy. But hunched over in footstool form, even she might notice. Just maybe. Though. <laughs> but if you really want footstool venti, I don't see why I couldn't do it for you. Just don't say you'll regret it afterwards. What do I mean? <laughs> well, you'll see. Huh. <sighs> Now I'm under your blanket, and I've got your feet in my grasp. You know what's coming. Mwahahaha. <laughs> Struggle all you want. I've got your legs in a death grip, and your feet are exposed. A moment you let your guard down, I'm gonna start tickling. Ow, ow, ow. Hey, stop hitting my back. <laughs> Okay, okay. I promise I won't tickle your feet. <sighs> Here, I'm back out of the blanket now. So please, cease the violence. <laughs> You're clearly wide awake. Well, that'll teach you to mess with me, hmm? <laughs> well, I love you. Probably too much, honestly. And you? How do you feel about me? Eh? Huh? I make a good footstool sometimes? <laughs> That's all? Hmm. I think I'll get going after all. <laughs> Kidding. <sighs> now I've got you on the bed. You can't get away from me. Since you didn't want to answer me properly earlier, I'm going to ask you again, okay? How do you feel about me? Oh, seriously? Pulling my braids? 
Ugh, you're starting to piss me off now. Why are you teasing me on purpose? Hmm. Ugh, I bet it's the latter. You just love getting on my nerves all the time. <sighs> Please, just answer my question. I'm begging on my knees right about now. How do you feel about me? <laughs> you love me so much, you can't express it in words. Well, that's okay. You express your love plenty in other ways. <laughs> uh, can't wait for summer break. Oh. Um. I'm sorry. I didn't get to tell you this until now. I was waiting for the right time, but I guess I kind of put it off. It's an orchestra in Beijing. I was the only one who got chosen after the interviews. Albedo got in too, but he opted not to go. We had tons of plans for summer vacation, but I don't think I'll be here for most of it. I mean, I'll probably be able to come when I get back, but that's already at the end of summer. I'd still like for you to go on them, though. You can bring Kakomi with you, or Sara. But Sara's a bit moody, so... Well, anyway, I just want you to enjoy the vacation, even without me. Uh, what a mood kill. I, I, I didn't mean to. I just... Uh, you know how important this orchestra is to me. Right? I practiced days on end before those interviews. Yeah, you saw those hundreds of cans of Red Bull in my room. Uh, really? You... You understand? Oh, I'm lucky to have you. If it were my ex, Scaramouche, well, he'd probably be giving me a black eye by now. Oh, thank you, love. Really, not everyone would have as much maturity as you do in this situation. Sometimes, I really don't think I deserve you at all. Oh, but that doesn't mean... I don't want to keep you all to myself. Far from it. <laughs> Since we're going to be apart for a while, we should enjoy this time together, right? I want you to think of me lots when I'm gone. I know I definitely will. But you? Well... I still get a little annoyed when Xiao talks to you a little too much. Ugh, I can't help it. You two have been buddies for so long, and he's really popular with both guys and girls. Compared to him, I... You always know just how to cheer me up. But back to what I was saying. I want you to think of me often, okay? And what better way to do that than to remind you through your gorgeous body. Your beautiful neck. The soft spot in the middle of your collarbones. Your cute little nails. 
even the small scar under your arm. I love every single part of you. And I want you to think of me, of how much I adore you. And that's the end for this YouTube preview. The rest of this audio can be found on my card. Link in the bio of this video.